be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with videos. So after long consideration, we just did a, po a poll and um, y'all want to know about sampling. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and do a series on sampling in Logic Pro 11. So the first video, which is going to be this one, I'm going to show you the basics on how to sample using the quick sampler. OK, this is the simplest get started way to do this. So basically what you want to do when you get started, you want to click on MIDI, right? And then under instrument, go down to sampler and then go to quick sampler. If you're doing drums, you're more likely want to go ahead and go with mono. If you're doing like an actual sample and chopping it, which I'm going to show you right now, you're going to do stereo. Simple, easy peasy, create it there. You're seeing all this stuff right here is because I've dragged and dropped different like drum sounds into here and saved it and it's going to pull up into a library. But basically, if you click right here on the actual uh, quick sampler, this is what pulls up. You can pretty much just easily drag and drop files right into this big, huge rectangle right here. All right. I'm just going to, for demonstration purposes, go to splice. I'm going to say soul. And then we're going to find a soul sample. And I'll go with loops just so I just get what I need. the one so we're going to click on this plus sign and then i'm just going to take this and drag it and put it right on over here before i drag it over here when you drag it in you can drag it in on the left side or the right side the left side is going to be the original the right side is going to be optimized i usually recommend putting it on the left side if you just have a sample and the right side if you have drums or if it just depends on what you want to do but it's just going to optimize it if you put it on the right side, which kind of makes it boost it. So I'm going to drag it over here. And there my sample is. So if you have a MIDI keyboard, obviously you could just get to playing. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to push Command K. Command K and then this is going to pop up. And so basically the first mode that you see here is classic. And this is going to play the sample all the way through. You know what I'm saying? As long as you hold down any key. Now there's one problem here. Um, like when I play it lower, it's, the sample is basically playing at a slower B, uh, BPM and vice versa. If I'm playing higher, it's playing at a higher, faster BPM. To fix that, you want to go ahead and come down here and you see where it says follow tempo. Click this. Now it's going to match up the tempo on whatever you have here in your session and match it here, even though this is 83. Just play around with it like that now you also have these different 
options here to chop up the sample or just basically move move it wherever you want within the sample. This is a cold sample. <clears throat> Now another thing that most people probably like overlook is this area right here. You can push this filter. So you can play around with that. You can also play with the pitch. It's kind of pointless to play with the pitch if you're going up and down the keyboard though. So that's that. You can also control the speed of the sample. Let's screw and chop it. speed it up another cool thing you can do is reverse it so you pretty much know you could everything for the most part you could do obviously we had these L um, LFOs too I'm not even gonna mess around with those but you got one shot mode which is Basically, when you hit any key, it's going to play all the way through. But one of my favorite modes is the slice mode. Okay. So the slice mode, anyway. Basically, what you could do is chop this mug up. Let me get this. Uh, get this keyboard over here. All right. But you could chop this mug up, though. Um, basically, you have these different options here we have mode here which is chopping up on the transients which is as you know the hot like the let me zoom in if you hold down option you can scroll left to right and zoom in the transients are obviously like these little beginning points are usually even in even this as well but i can change the sensitivity of that and come over here and play um play these different parts And then you can then also change the mode here and go to beat divisions. You can divide it by different note lengths, eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes.
So you can play around with like that. Equal divisions. So you can find little 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 hard parts. I like this little thing. And this is actually where it'd be dope to come back over here. And this is where you can play with the pitch. Cause like you can play with the pitch more with the notes in the classic mode or the one shot mode, but in slice it's just gonna play it just as it is, but you're just gonna chop up the sample. So this is where you can come over here on a pitch and Honestly, I, that's like probably one of my favorite things to do is to chop samples. It's one of them. One of my favorite things to do when it comes to production. It's like a kind of secret indulgence. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. But you can come over here and chop these up like that. And you can do it manually. You can come over here and say, okay. I'm going to put a point right here. I'm going to put something right here. Right here. Here, here, right here. You can zoom in and get it just how you want it to. Hold down that option button, zoom in with the trackpad or the mouse. And you can get it how however you want. If you really want to make it smooth, you can just zoom in and make sure you're getting it right at the beginning of that loop. So you can take it up here, move it. Anyway, I think y'all get the point. Now, something else I should tell y'all about is obviously the start key and also the difference between chromatic, or white, or black. Chromatic is the um, black and white keys. Obviously, this is common sense. All white keys, and then you got all black keys. So let's look at the all white keys. So let's just say if we wanted to chop this up like that. First off, we want to clean this up. Like, right, come on, zoom on in here. And. All right, so it don't have a whole big old pop at the very beginning of it. And then, two, you can come over here and talk about this. Let's see, you got gate. And that's basically going to. kind of make it trail off a little bit so it can control the sample so you're gonna to have to actually hold it all the way to the end to make it go all the way so that makes it cleaner too
But if you put it on play to the end, obviously this is going to go basically to one shot mode where you hit it, it's going to go all the way to the end. So that pretty much is going to wrap up how to do this. Now, um, the last thing we'll talk about is how to save your sample. So um, you can come over here to the top left where it says default preset. Scroll down to save as. And just name the sample. So banger. Sample. Now, let's just say you want to start from the jump. Like, man, where's my sample at? You can just go ahead and pull up this quick sampler. Go to default preset. You can either find it by going to load, or it's going to pop up down here. It's in alphabetical order or whatever. So if it's so sample banger, it's right there now. So at least had it. Yeah, there you go. So it still saves uh, however you had it before the chops and everything. So yeah, that was pretty much a opener video to this series we're gonna do on sampling in Logic Pro 11. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you go to my website, bemakingbasis.com. We got a whole lot of deals and good offers for you. Um, and then you know, take your beats to the next level. Go keep on making beats, man. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.